let's do it. You're gonna light this up today. We are here for Hit and Strength, about a 50 minute class. I am Courtney. Today we are using the step. If you don't have a step, that's okay. You probably have a step stool or some sort of ledge or something that you can use. Otherwise, you can always modify with nothing, no big deal. If you don't have one, grab a couple sets of weights as well. And here we go, arch it down, roll it up. Lift to your toes when you come on up to standing. Just warming up that back. As always, starting with a long warm up just to get our bodies ready for action. I'm looking forward to using the step today. It's been a while, I think, since I've used it. So we've got some fun stuff planned. Coming up, reaching up, reach across. We still have 13 seconds here. Good. Five, three, two. Reach it up for two, reach across for two. Have on a brand new outfit today, a brand new ba brand, brand new brand. How do you say that? That I'm working with, Sunita Athletics. So I will link all the info in the description and you can get a discount with my code. Already though, their prices are very easy on the wallet. <laughs> 15 seconds, even the headband. Coming up, hamstring curls. Seven seconds. Three, two, let's go. Curl it back. You should feel a nice stretch in the front of your legs, your quads. This is where you can tell, hmm, am I tight there? Am I a little sore? Maybe you, were, you did a hard workout yesterday, I don't know. Maybe you took the day off yesterday and you're ready to rock this workout today. 22 seconds to go here. Heading into lateral side lunges with a squat in the center. We have 10 seconds. Heart rate starting to come up just a bit. Three, two, side lunge. Squat in the center, alternating sides. So push that booty back in the center. Bring it down. Pushing off that outside leg. Feeling the power in your muscles. They're starting to really warm up, get lubed, get ready. 10 seconds to go. Right lunge, twist to hamstring, coming up. Three, two, right leg forward, twist it, right arm up, and then straighten up, get that hamstring. It's not a race, you don't have to go quick, you can take it slow, but of course you could just go your own pace. As always, with this workout, we have five exercises of strength once we get started followed by cardio, a Tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Cardio, 10 seconds. Going into shoulder taps in high plank in four, three, two, bring that right foot to the back into high plank, tap it out, shoulder taps. Trying to keep your body still. Tighten up those abs, tighten up that core. Trying not to move side to side too much. Great focus. Your mind is ready for this. Mentally tough. So we have three rounds of strength cardio. Strength exercises change a little bit each round. 10 seconds to go. Then we've got our finishers, working abs and back today. Three, left foot forward into that lunge. Twist.
twist to straighten. Great. Rotating that spine. Should feel pretty good. Woo. 23 seconds. You ready? Feeling better and better with each movement, yes? 10 seconds coming up, mountain climbers. Just nice and easy. Four, three, two, left foot, bring it to the back and climb it. You can do this without a hop, just driving your knees or with a little hop. Don't worry about going too quick, too hard yet. We will do that later, I promise. Right now we're trying to prevent injuries, not create them, yes? 20 seconds. Finally standing it up after this. We've got knee drives. Right knee first. Think. Yes. Five. Three. Two. Big jump or step in. Come on up. Right knee drive it. Big arms. All right, we got the right. We've got the left, and then we're ready. If you want, add a little hop. Starting to breathe a little harder now. Speaking of breathing, if I get a chance, I will tell you a few more, one or two more interesting things I'm learning from our book club and our book called Breath. <laughs> the book just keeps getting more and more crazy. Three, two, left knee, let's go. How are we feeling? Better than when we started, yes? All right, add that hop if you're ready. We are Ready to challenge ourselves today. Ready to get out of our comfort zone. Getting stronger, fitter, faster. Eight seconds. Three, two. Boom, rest it. How are we doing? You're ready, you're set. Get some water, walk around. Make sure you have all your things nearby. Starting with weights. No step to start. 20 seconds we have, so not to worry. You still got some time to walk around, catch your breath. Starting with squat, bicep hammers for two. 10 seconds, coming up, lift to your toes. If you don't wanna come all the way down, don't worry, you can do them here. Three, two, and then a little lift to your toes. Let's go, we're on. If you can't come down to the squat, like I said, you can stand and do these. And then lift to your toes. Enjoy this. Next round, we add a little extra. Mm. So I'm digging my elbows into my thighs and that way bringing the weights up. A great way to open up your hips, squatting like this. Even if you're just hanging out during the day, if you just do some squats like this from time to time, you'll notice how you open your hips, it helps your back, 10 seconds. Five. Three, two, rest it. Okay, still no step yet. It's coming though, it's coming. We will use it. We have a row to a tricep kickback. Both weights. We go three, two, 
Here we go. All right, let's get our form correct. We're hinging forward at the waist with good posture, meaning your shoulders are back and down. Pushing your booty out, pushing your chest out slightly. If you want more, drop your chest a little lower toward the ground. You got it. Sticking with this combo for another 25 seconds. Next up, we're using the step. 15. Round one, we're still getting slightly warmed up. Five. Three. Two. Rest. Keep the weights, grab the step. Alternating sides, this one might get confusing on the brain, but you got it. Stepping up, doesn't matter which foot, kicking. Stepping back to a lunge, together, then stepping up with the other foot. Two, one, let's go. Step kick, step lunge, together. <laughs> I'm confusing myself. <laughs> it's hard to alternate. Next round, we will stay on one leg. It's a mind trick, that's for sure. Great, now you can do this on the floor if you don't have a step. Easy. 25 to go. There you go, we got it, we got it down. Sure you do. 15. Good deal. Five, three, two, rest. Down, head and shoulders on the step, or on the ground, or on the ground. One wide to narrow chest press. Head and shoulders on the step, booty up. One wide, then bring the palms together, one narrow. Let's go. So regular chest press first then elbows in. Heavy weights if you got them. Booty up, squeeze that, squeeze those glutes. Great. So as you know, we're reading the book Breath and Book Club. Our next book club is coming very soon. Stay tuned for the announcement of what book we're reading next, and I hope you join. But for now, we're reading breath. 18 seconds, and I've just heard of this new technique to open up airways. You may have heard of it, because it's like kind of a social media craze. And I'm sorry to leave you in suspense, but I'll have to tell you in the next one. Four, three, two, booty down, come on up. Then get rid of your weight and sit your booty on the step. Right leg first, right leg first. Toe up, heel is flexed. Let's lift. Here we go, lifting up. Working our hip flexor here. We will change legs at 30 seconds. Enjoy this round, because the next round, we will stick with the right leg only for the whole minute. And yes, you will be burning for sure. 10 seconds to go. Oh, speaking of burning, I'm already burning, yes? You too? Two, one, switch it. Oh my gosh, doesn't that feel good? Woo! Feels amazing, right Zach? 20 seconds to go. Starting to feel less amazing as we go though, yes? Okay, I'm going to tell you the technique for the breath in a minute. You're gonna have to wait through the cardio though because I can't tell you a whole technique. Two, one, good job. All right, we are using the step for those that want to for the cardio. Be careful of your weights. One leg only to start, right leg hitching on the step, 
to a run back. That's exercise one. We'll switch to the left side on the next round, followed by squat hops off the step. You can do these on the floor. You can do the whole thing on the floor if you'd like. Four, three, be careful not to trip. Let's go, 20 seconds on. Hitch it forward, run it back. Agility, brain and body working together. 10 seconds. I don't wanna hear about any of you tripping. Four, three. Rest it. Woo. Squat hops coming up. Here we go, three, two. Bring it down, touch, touch the step each time. Chest is up though. You're looking maybe five, six feet in front of your feet. Go. Come on, get down there. Let's pick up your speed now. Three, two, rest. Ready for that other side? Left foot hitches on the step. Three, two, let's go. Run it back. Speaking of tripping, I had my kids this week in agility, kids agility, that I teach do these toe taps on this bench. And they were like, I'm scared. Six seconds. Three, two, rest it. They were like, I'm so scared. I'm like, you're fine, you're fine, keep going. Sure enough, one of them falls. Here we go, let's go, we're on. He was okay though. I'm like, you're fine, you're not gonna fall. Nothing's gonna happen to you. Six, three, rest. I take it as that's a sign of uh, him just working so hard, right? Pitch it, right foot, two, one, go. Come on, let's push that speed now. Now we know what to do. You're an expert, let's go. Up and back. Six, three, rest. We good? This one's not too bad. More fun than anything. Three, two, side to side. Let's challenge ourselves though right now by picking up that speed, dropping down a little lower. Maybe you can get your whole hand down. Eight. Three, two, rest. Last set. You ready for it, Donna? All right, here we go. Three, two, hitch it, left foot. Run it. Beware of where you're going. Oh. These are, this is why we do all of our balancing exercises. All of that stability. Three, two, rest. So we can control ourselves. We don't fall. Three, two, last 20. Go for it. Come on. All right, push that speed, push it, push it. More, faster. Eight, power. Three, two, rest. Ah, oh, way to go. How'd you do, fun, huh? Put that step out of the way, you don't need it for the first exercise. Grab water, walk around. Okay, continuing a bit with the cardio. This time, with our squat biceps, we've got two of them. We go in 20 seconds, put the weights down, then a little heel click over the weights adding a little cardio to our strength. That's why we took it a little easier on that Tabata. <laughs> All right, six seconds, everybody down with me. Dig those elbows in, pick up your weights. Two, chest is up, let's go. 
You can keep with the first round if you want low impact. Let's go. We're here the whole minute. So settle in, get used to it. Great squatting, Alma. Yes. Go. All right, so the technique, the breathing technique, back to this. It's called mewing, mewing, M-E-W-I-N-G. Have you heard of this? Have you seen it online? 22 seconds. I'll tell you what it is. It's hard to kind of explain it, but it's supposed to open up your airways if you do it. The goal is to do it 30 minutes a day. <laughs> I know I sound absolutely crazy. Trust me, I know. Four, three, two. Oh, rest. Oh my goodness. Grab your step. You can do this on the floor as well. Right hand only, one weight. Row to tricep. Remember how we did it in the first round? Now we're doing it on the floor. One hand, row, tricep, two, one. Let's go. Try to square off your hips. We're not opened up. Square off your hips to the floor. As you row that weight up, your body does not twist. Just stay straight. Quick check, is your shoulder and your wrist in line? They should be straight up and down, not here. Right, straight up and down, right up and over your hand. 25 seconds to go. So the technique is to try to glue your tongue, including the back of your tongue, to the roof of your mouth. And keep your lips together. Seven seconds. I wish I could show you, but I can't. Two, one, rest. Oh, that's a hard one, yes? Just keeping your body weight up. Head and shoulders on the step. This time we have, oops, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Chest fly to lat pull down. Booty up, chest fly, open up. Here we go, we're on. Glue your weights together, bring them back over your head. Keep those arms mostly straight. Working our chest on the fly, and then moving more to our lats, which go down from our armpits, down, wrapping around our back. All right, Kirby, let's relax our face. This is it, this is where I tense up, yes? 22 seconds here. Squeeze that booty, lift it a little higher. Don't forget about it. <laughs> I know as the exercise goes on, it just starts to sink, right? Five, three, two, rest it, booty down, chest comes up. Oh no, we got those leg lifts. Oh no, oh no. Right leg only, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Three, two, don't think about it, just do it. Here we go, lift. You can always bring your hands back like this. You can do this on the floor too. You can definitely do it on the floor. It's harder, more challenging if you sit straight up. Just what we need, right? All right, everybody, turn that toe out. Keep lifting, keep lifting. Remember how I said mind, mental toughness. I said that in the warm up. We're working on it right here, right now. Bring that toe in. Keep lifting. Let's go. Oh boy. Woo! Talk about hip flexor burn. I haven't done these in a while and I could tell just how weak I am. Bring that toe up. Last 11 seconds. This is it. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Come on, Dale, all the way. Three, two, ah, oh, rest. I forgot something. Oh, the step ups. We're going totally out of order, team, but that's okay. We got the step ups, which I forgot. Right leg, right leg only. Stepping up, kicking with the left, bringing it back 
to a lunge. Here we go, we're on. Let's go. Keep it going. I'm gonna turn the other way so you can see me better. Yes. <laughs> this time, no stepping together. We're just going one right after another. Good, get down in that lunge. We will pulse the lunge. Keep it going in 10 seconds. Four, three, two. Pulse it, pulse that lunge. All right. Not my best effort there, I must admit. All right, big pulses. We're gonna make it up right now. Let's feel that burn in the legs. Big, big, four. Three, two, one, boom. Cardio coming up. We are using the step, but only for the second exercise. For the first, you want it far out of the way, whether it's behind you or wherever. We have one jump, 180 turn. Jump, 180 turn. Every time, turning toward the front. Second exercise, donkey kicks. Here we go, seven seconds. Ready to get that heart rate up? Three, two, big jump, 180. Always turning toward the front of the room. That way you're turning different directions. Trying to touch the floor each time. Eight seconds. Three, two, rest. Woo, I'm already on fire. Donkey kicks. Hands on the step or the floor. Two, one, let's go. Knees in, knees in. It's not just a little hop to the side. Tuck those knees in. Right, Mickey? Eight. Three, two, rest. Oh, wow. I'd say this Tabata is more challenging than the last. Two, one, jump it, turn it. Come on. Big jump. You can walk these. You can walk these for low impact. Five, three, rest it. Woo. Wow, you're killing me. Two, one, kick it, let's go. Tuck those knees in, tuck them in. Option, walk side to side, or you can hop it. Let's go, eight. Three, two, rest. Way to go. You're killing me. Three, two, jump it, turn it. You know your options. Keep moving. Heart should be pounding. We want that. We want to push. Five, three, rest. Oh. Donkey kicks. Okay, team, you're feeling it. Two, one, boom. Go, go. Side to side. Focus. Seven. Pick it up, pick it up to speed. Two, one, rest. Last set. How are you doing? Two, one, you're doing it. That's what you're doing. It. Go. Nine. Last chance for these. Make it count. Three. Rest. Oh. Woo. Last 20 seconds. Two, one, 
go for it. Come on, all the way with me. Tuck those knees, get them into your chest. Eight. Go, go. Three, two, one. Boom. Ah. How'd you do? A little harder than the last one. Yeah. Wow, you crushed it. Get the step out of the way. Get some water, walk around. If you're walking, make sure you hit a like on the workout. Twenty-two seconds to go. Same thing. Same thing. I don't even have to demonstrate. Two biceps. Heel click. Remember your option to stand. And then up. Eight seconds. Get in position. Five. Two. One. Just what we need. More cardio, right? This round, we will hold the biceps for the last 20. Deep breaths. Try to slow your breathing a little bit more. Active recovery. Fifteen seconds till we hold those biceps in squat or standing if you're standing. And then a couple more rounds. Five, three, two. Hold it down, biceps only. Chest is up. Yes, perfect form. I love it. Ten seconds. Come on, keep curling. Two. One. Boom. All right, row to triceps. Left only. Just one weight. On the step or the ground. All right, you ready for it? Holding your body weight up. Two. One. Here we go. Up and over your hand. You know all the form tips now as we practice them. So back to mewing, you can look it up online, but basically you try to seal your tongue to the roof of your mouth with your lips closed. And a good way to do it is to close your mouth, get the little, a little saliva, it's okay, the front of your mouth, and then suck in, 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 in causing like a vacuum seal in your mouth. And it brings your tongue right up there. It's supposed to, whoa, hey there. It's supposed to expand your mouth, expand your airways. 15 seconds to go. I am just relaying the information, okay? I'm not telling you what to do. Seven seconds, I do not know if it works. Four, three, two, rest. Woo, all right, I'm not gonna forget those kicks this time. Okay, bud, you're gonna have to move. You gotta move. Boom, you're kicked out. Right, uh, sorry, left leg up. Left leg up, right leg kicks into the lunge. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, Vander, up and out, please. Thank you, sir. We will be pulsing the lunges. Coming up. Keep going with this. Can you get that knee almost to the floor in your lunge? If it seems too easy, you might need heavier weights. Next time though. Five, three, pulse that lunge, pulse it. Big, 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 big. Chest is up, shoulders back and down. Perfect posture, that's us. 10 seconds. Ah, it burns, it burns. Four, two, ah, rest, Woo. All right, this time we have three in a row. Chest press, chest fly, then lat pull down. One, two, three, here we go. Three, two, head and shoulders on the step. Let's go, chest press. Open it up to a fly. 
Glue your weights together, pull it back. Bring those hips high. Great, exhaling on the way up. About 30 seconds to go. And then guess what's coming? I know, those leg lifts. <laughs> 17. Think about your abs as you pull those weights from back to center with the pull down. Really working them. Five, three, two. Rest, hips come down, chest comes up, then get rid of your weights. Then sit your booty up on that step and get ready. Get ready for some hip flexor action. Left leg out, two, one. Lift it up, lift it up. All right, we're here for the minute, for the duration. We're lifting up and up. You can do this. Wrap your head around it right now and tell yourself, yes, bring that toe out. Keep lifting. Yes, you can. Absolutely, you can. We keep pushing all the way through that finish line. Bring that toe in. Keep lifting. You got this. Ah. Woo. Come on now, team. Bring that toe up. Last 12 seconds. Uh, you are getting so strong right now, right now. This is it. Four, three, two, one. Hug it in. Ah, give yourself a scream. It's okay. It's okay to scream. All right, setting up for our final Tabata. We're already here. Can you believe it? Charleston, kick up. So, stepping up with one foot, whatever foot is closer to the step, you can do this on the floor. Kicking. Coming down, touching. We're staying one side. One side, doesn't matter which side. Next step, only do this with the step if you feel comfortable. Fast feet around it. Two, one, let's go. Charleston kick, touch, go. Come on. Speed is the name of the game on this one. Agility with your feet. Five, three, Two, rest, rest, rest. Only if you can feel comfortable. If not, don't do it with the step. We're going toward the right. Three, two, fast feet. Let's go, fast feet. Come on. Yes, we're doing cardio. We're doing more brain work here. 10 seconds. You got it. Four. Two, rest. How is your connection? <laughs> How are those neurons? Three, two, other foot. Let's go, kick. So the foot closest to the stair is the one stepping up. Go, 10 seconds. All right, pick up that speed. You got the movement now. Four. Two, rest, around, around we go. To the left, to the left, watch out for everything. Two, one, go. Caution. <laughs> you can just stand in the center and do fast feet as well. Another option, you don't have to do the circles. Eight, come on, move those feet, they're little steps. Two, one, rest. Whew. Back to the first foot. Ready, two, one, go for it. Go, go, go. Come on down, all the way down and touch. Eight, you got it. Three, two, 
rest. How you doing? You're rocking it. Three, two, circle or in place, fast feet. Tiny steps, tiny steps. Go, go, go. Focus. Seven. Three, two, rest. Ooh, I don't know why, but my hips are on fire from that. But I guess from the moving around. Yeah, two, one, let's go, kick it. Last set. So of course our heart rate is up. Not as high as the second Tabata that we did, but more of that brain and body working together in this one. Three, two, rest as I'm doubled over. Not as hard, not as hard though. Here we go, last 20. Two, one, to the left, go. You got it. Absolutely crushing this Tabata. Way to go team, 10 seconds. All the way to the end. Four, two, rest. How'd you do? Nobody tripped, right? No way. If you did, don't tell me about it. <laughs> All right, no more step. I think, now don't hold me to this, but I feel like we might be done with the step. Grab water, 30 seconds, finishers. All right, it says low jack to kick. I'm gonna make it a little harder. We'll go low jack to kick, tuck. Low jack to kick, tuck. All right? <laughs> Six, you got that? Follow me, I gotcha. Three, two, one minute on. Let's go, low jack, kick, tuck. Low jack, other kick, tuck. Come on. Yes. So much power I see. You're almost there. Come on, get way down there on that low jack. Way up there on that top. Bring those knees up. 25 seconds. I notice it's very challenging to talk on this one. Too much focus. Brain overdrive. 13. Come on. Up there. Knees up. Five. Three. Rest. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Now we're tired. Yeah. Wow. You're an animal. All right. Abs. Back. Starting with obliques. On your right side. Give me a few more seconds. 20 seconds. Couple deep breaths. On your right side. Right elbow. Hand to head. Just twisting. Seven seconds. Get down. Elbow to hand. Elbow to, elbow to wrist. Two. One, hips up. You can always put one knee on the floor if you'd like. Try a few holding yourself up. You can do this. You are so strong. You do not realize how strong you are. To make it through this class, you're incredible. With, without modifications, it's absolutely mind-blowing. People would not believe that you could do this. That's how strong you are. So you can do a few reps up on your elbow right now. 17 seconds to try. We got 10. Four. Two. Rest. All right, back. Superman lifts. 
on your tummy. You can just start with lifting your hands and then you can add in the feet if you'd like. Two, one, here we go. Reaching your arms out, gaze is down, you're looking down, you're not looking up. Don't you worry, I will tell you the time. I don't want you to strain your neck. We're here for about another 30 seconds. Just up and down, just up and down. That's all you need to know. Try to reach up a little higher. Reach those arms out a little further. Great work. Keep going. 15. Definitely sweating over here. Five. Three. Rest. Other side. Plank twist. Just two more exercises, team. That's it. On your left. Here we go. Three. Two. Let's go. Twist it. Which side is better? Right now, this side feels better. I think that's because we just started, though. <laughs> Trying to bring your elbow down and touching your wrist and back up. So how'd you like working with the step today? If you did, fun, huh? Something different? Now you don't need to go out and buy a step. If you want one, I do have one on my Amazon store that I really like. Very much just this one, 15 seconds. But you don't need to, you can just use a step stool. You have to just be careful because they are a bit wobbly. Eight seconds. Three, two, rest. Woo. Last exercise. Swimmers on our tummy. We are gonna swim our way to the finish. You ready for it? Here we go, four, two. Swimming, hands and feet, reaching them out. Let's go. Yeah, so if, if you didn't do this workout with a step, but you wanna try it, it's a good idea to maybe put this one in favorites or save the link to it somewhere so you can get back to it easily or write down the number. I can't really remember what number we're on right now. We've done so many. They blend easily, so it's hard to find. So anyway, that's my suggestion. 20 seconds to go of the hard stuff before we stretch. Everybody, lift a little higher. Swim. Gaze is down though. Seven, five, three, two. Yeah, you did it. Way to make it, team. Uh, just coming onto all fours. Let's just stretch out our back with a little cat-cow rounding. And then pushing your booty out, pushing your chest out, arching. Bring your head up. And then round real tight. And pushing that booty out. Stay with me for the stretch. You will be so happy if you stay. Preventing injuries right here. Just staying on your knees, bring that right leg forward, hinging forward at the hips. Let's stretch out that hip flexor. You are going to feel that tomorrow, possibly. Bring your left arm up and get your tricep. And then if you want, reach that other arm around. Try to clasp your fingers in the back if you can. And release your hands, bring your hips back, bring your chest down toward that front leg. Get your hamstring, the back of your leg. You can move your foot back and forth, or you can just keep it center. Way to rock it. So my friend um, gave me uh, these fun like quote cards for a gift. They're like, Oprah's favorite quotes by famous people. Coming in the pigeons. And uh, I find
finally got to opening them. And I really love them, they're fun. And I read a new quote every day, but I wanted to share one with you because it just was absolutely stuck with me. It was my favorite. So um, right at the end, I'll share the quote with you. And then that way we'll do it at the end. So we remember it for the day and internalize it, right? <laughs> Coming into the center splits, walking side to side. Remember, I have linked my brand new outfit with Sunita in the description. If you want to check out their brand, it's, um, you know, one of those brands that you probably have never heard of, but such high quality clothes often gets overlooked for other brands, more expensive, well-known brands, right? Great, let's go with the other side. Hinging forward at the hips, left foot in front. Bring that right arm up and over to a tricep. Also, remembering to keep your eye out for the next book. We are announcing it very soon for book club. Bring your other hand around, try to clasp, clasp those fingers together. I really hope you join. We have a ton of fun in this group. Bring your hips back, chest comes down. Stay tuned for the quote. One deep breath in. And as you exhale, try to bring that chest a little lower. Final stretch coming into pigeon. So this particular quote is by Jane Fonda, the fitness queen. So it's good that we did this one first, I guess, huh? Keep going on that pigeon. Okay, I'm gonna read it to you. One more deep breath. All right, the quote is, let me wait for the buzzer and then I'll read it. All right, by Jane Fonda. Here it is. We have to listen to each other, even when we don't agree, even when we think we hate each other. We have to listen to each other's narrative, not interrupt defensively or with hostility, but really try to open our hearts and listen with empathy. You like it? <laughs> I love this one, so I thought I'd share it. I might share a couple from time to time. So take that, go out there, Maybe talk to somebody today that you think you don't really like, listen to their side, see what they're thinking, and we can all give hugs and be friends. Peace. All right.